Hey guys, it is Monday, March 5, I believe. No speech detected. Voice recognition oh. canceled. Oh, I just figured out how that happens. There's a button on my steering wheel for a little voice, and I was leaning on it with the camera. Ha! <laughs> At least I figured that out. Anyway, so I wanted to do a video uh, real quick and talk about rewiring your brain. And I just wanted to point out that it literally is like one thought at a time. Recognizing the patterns of your spiraling thoughts, being aware of that. For me, it was like a light bulb moment. Like all of a sudden I was like, oh, okay, now I see how that happens. How I start with one negative thought and it just spirals into a deep, dark pit of negative thinking. And, um, you know, the, the thoughts get worse and worse instead of recognizing right away as soon as that first, second, or third thought hits to go, oh, I see what's happening here and stop it right there. Um, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. You can't just wish that you could rewire your brain and it's going to happen. Um, it's about being self-aware and it's about noticing your thought patterns and learning to recognize them right away so that you can stop them right away. Um, especially the negative ones. Nobody's saying that you're going to turn into Little Miss Sunshine and have all positive thoughts because that's, it's just not, people that are like that scare me because it's not real. You know, you can still be real and change your thought patterns and be more positive. Um, and another big issue that I see is a lot of people don't have a sounding board to talk about some of the things they are feeling or thinking. And I know for me, sometimes when things happen, I just like find anybody I can to talk about it with because sometimes when you talk about something, it's like it, it takes its power away. When you can talk about it out loud to other people, it takes its power away, but not everybody has people to talk to. I don't, to be honest, I really don't. I have coworkers that I don't, I'm not trying to get chummy with and, um, not trying to, I don't, they don't need to know that part of me because they're my coworkers, not my friends. Um, and sometimes it can be hard to talk to your spouse about things like that because you don't want to trouble them when you know that they're already dealing with their own stresses. So, you know, that's not always, that doesn't always work. Um, some relationships, it depends on the people, really, you know, but for me, I worry about stressing him out more, and then I worry about his health, so I don't really tell him everything, and I don't have friends outside of work, really, that I choose to get that close with, um, so I don't have a sounding board, but I have been practicing my thought pattern changes for long enough now that I don't need it as frequently, and sometimes it really does bother me that I don't have anybody to talk to. Um, I actually thought about starting an app for that, um, but I don't know. We'll see. So just know that it's it's not an overnight thing. It's not some light bulb or switch is going to go off, and it's all going to be different. It's one thought at a time, one pattern recognition, and stopping it when it starts, and then, you know... Even if you stop it, you don't have to necessarily stop and think of something positive. But if you just stop and think of something else, you know, think about, well, what do I need to be doing today instead of, of sitting here thinking this thought? What could I be doing to be improving my life or changing something in my situation? Or even like, hey, you know what? I could go take a hot bath or... Um, let me go give myself, you know, a, I got an itch on my elbow. Sorry. Um, give my, not a facial, like a, you know, like a face mask or go just get up and do something that distracts you from letting that thought pattern continue. Put some music on, turn the TV on, um, make a phone call, text somebody, look something up on the internet, you know, there's a number, a thousand of, a thousand of things, a thousand things you could do. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to end with today and 
Hope this video was helpful. I will be doing more videos like this in the future because I think it's really important and I know a lot of people that struggle with it. So, um, yeah. And hopefully if I ever get my books done, they talk about self-awareness and self-discipline. So, um, if I ever get those done and I hopefully will be doing a course to do with empathy and learning to channel those emotions because I think people not being able to deal with their emotions is a huge thing. So that's it for today. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me some comments. Talk to you later. Bye.